Studies are showing girls are hitting puberty earlier and earlier. What is going on out there? Howdy guys and gals, Trace here for D News, and I think we can all agree, puberty is terrible. You wanna start like talking to girls and your voice gets all crackly, hey there, Janice. Or maybe you want boys to notice how nice you look and your body is going through all these weird changes and acne is popping up and awkwardly sized everything. Now, a long-term study following 1,200 girls in New York, Chicago, and San Francisco has some troubling results. Girls are starting puberty younger than ever before, and we don't really know why. The study published in the journal Pediatrics explains that in the 1990s, African-American girls were developing breasts at about age nine. Hispanic girls were a few months later, and while white and Asian girls began developing breasts at about nine and a half. Today, they show girls are developing breasts four months earlier than in 97, and that is a huge change over such a short time. So why this time shift? Well, obesity, really, according to the researchers. They write that heavier girls start puberty earlier, but added that there are literally hundreds of chemicals which could be causing this shift. Other experts weighed in, claiming obesity was unlikely to be the only cause, and that where girls live and how much meat and dairy they have in their diet will also affect puberty onset. Even family stress has changed pubertal timing. Some of the more sensationalized chemicals known to cause estrogen activation are BPAs or bisphenol A found in some plastic drink bottles and 34 of the 200 NIH tested pesticides contained estrogen mimicking compounds. Chemicals on furniture like brominated flame retardants can be absorbed through the skin and could be yet another cause of this. Again, literally hundreds of chemicals and we don't know. In the past, there have been stories about hormones in the water supply. It seems to have hit the presses in the late aughts, focusing on how hormones from birth control pills were finding their way back into our kids and food sources. In reality, a study in 2011 found otherwise. Sewage treatment plants remove virtually all EE2, which is the main estrogen compound in contraception, but cattle are given five times the dosage, and hormones like plant estrogen, known as phytoestrogen, are found in soy products, nuts, grains, and meats, which then brings us all the way back to diet. Some blogs are reporting moms being more stringent with their kids' meat and dairy to eliminate at least that source of possible contamination. Regardless though, the obesity and diet factors are major, and many of the experts agree on that, with all agreeing that more research is needed and fast. So what can science do about this really? For the moment, nothing, because we don't know what's causing it. But what do you think about studies like this? Are we just evolving to be more mature younger or are we missing something in our food regulations? What should we do? Tell us your thoughts on our Facebook page. And uh, guys, could you tell us how we're doing here on D News? Do you have any suggestions for how we can improve? We read your comments and we try and do our best for you, but as we come up on our one year anniversary, it's time to ask you directly. So I present the D News audience survey. Please take a few minutes and give us some feedback. The link is in the description. So go ahead and go down there. And if you do, thanks so much.